So today we're going to be taking a look at Optimus Megatronus from the famous Japanese exclusive anime episodes, the unaired ones. Uh, as you can see with Siege coming out, we've finally been able to recreate this combiner. Um, and today I'm going to show you how to put him together. Actually, I'm going to take apart everything that we have here and build him up from the ground, detailing all the figures you're going to need to buy. And yeah, essentially where all the connection points are. So I hope you are about to enjoy because this is going to take a while. All right, so we're back. So the core of the combiner is the unreleased G2 Megatron. Obviously, they based this model off his unreleased variant and made him into Siege. So you're going to need to take off his sword. That will come into play later. Now, the first parts you're going to want are these two feet from the Shockwave Siege toy. And you're going to want to peg him in right to the bottom of his feet. This is the best recreation we can get of his barrel toes from episode, the unaired episode 541. So you're gonna wanna do that. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do, I'm just gonna start easy. We're gonna take his sword. Now you're gonna want the sword from the set right here. And the Siege sets came with the two Star Saber uh, Decepticons, and you're going to want essentially that one from the Star Saber set. You know, flip it up so he's got his handle out, and you're going to want to plug it in right here to get that prototype Star Saber effect, which actually looks really good, and you're just going to plug that in right there. So, you guys weapons, and that's all good and dandy. Now, you're going to need the cassette pack of Ravage and Laser Beak for this next bit. Turn around to his backpack, plug these two in, because after the Soundwave Blaster fight, this is where they went in these unaired episodes. They were stored on Megatron's back. So there, they'll just go right there. Now the next bit is a little bit of a mash. The best gun to get the double barrel uh, repeating rail gun seen in the episodes Divide and Conquer is to take the games from trick the guns from Trigger Happy and clip them together. So in his Headmaster mode. Prowl's gun from Siege, clip that right there, and then you want half of Blowpipe's effect part for that one animation error that was quite prevalent, and you're just going to plug that in at the top. I'm have to stretch out so we can actually see what we're doing here. There we go. Now you're going to want Prowl's light bar for the... Uh, emergency effect that was on for the latter half of the last episode that he appeared in, the, the unaired Japanese release. Um, okay, and then you're going to want his combiner. Unfortunately, there is, I don't know, a small spaceship that has a Decepticon logo, but if you go on eBay, you can purchase one. It doesn't really bother me much. So what you're going to want to do is flip open his white, his yellow piece right here and just plug him onto his arm like so. And that does it for me. The next bit that we're going to do, just thinking, we're going to take a flak and just unpeg him here. And he simply just pegs in. Uh, here, so you can get that G1 flak shoulder gun bit. And then another easy piece. This is blowpipe. He goes here. It's very simple. Not a lot of math to that. 
That's about done. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Top Shot and you turn his barrel like that. And then you're going to want to plug in, uh, this came from Soundwave, uh, Siege Soundwave. He had this really neat little gun. You're gonna plug it in right there. Now, unfortunately, we won't be able to get rid of this little uh, sight piece, but it's the closest we can come to. And you're going to take blowpipes, other siege effect part, do a nice little blast, and you're just going to slot in Top Shot's gun right through there. That will give you a nice uh, cannon, shoulder cannon there. Now, the next bit is a little difficult. As you can see, we're going to bring Megatron a little bit closer so you can get a good look at his chest. There's two slots, one right here and one right here. Now, this is the other one of the Star Saber mini cons from the Siege. And you can see there's two slots right here and here. Now you're gonna to wanna to have to peg them in right there. So you're gonna to have to line them up like so. And it won't be exactly a click. Very difficult to do because, of course, they made the paint job on this guy a little fragile. But you're going to want to click them in, and it will be right there. So now he's got his chest design. Now we're going to move on to the legs again. So the figures I decided to use for this, because they're really the best. Here we're going to use, let's hope I don't mess up his name, Titan's Return Brawn. So, and Titan's Return, Bumblebee. I'm gonna have to bring him up again. Hopefully I can give you a good look at his legs. So that's what we're gonna be working on. So I'm gonna try to bend the camera down just a little bit so you can see his legs. As you can see, there's a nice edge clip here and a nice edge clip here. Same with the other leg. Now what we're gonna do is you can see that there's these clipped pieces here and we're going to clip Braun right onto his leg, just like so. So there, leg one done. And Bumblebee has the, this edge clip piece right here that we're going to take advantage of. And he is going to clip onto the second leg. I would recommend Decepticon signet stickers if you can find them to cover up Bumblebee's Autobot signal. And we're just about done. So thank you for staying with me for all this. Headache of a combiner. Now what we're going to want to do, as you can see he's pretty big. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take Slash. I think that's the best figure I've found for this. And Slash is from the Power of the Primes line. The female Dinobot Raptor. And what you want to do is you want to flip open that panel, flip her head in, flip open for that, have her legs stretched out in this kind of position. And we were going, and you see the top, top shot right here. I'm going to take him out just so you can see there are two clips right here and here. You saw there were a tab on that golden panel of Slash. What we're going to do is we're going to give him a conic sort of ultra cannon mode. Just plug it lightly in right here. Adjust it just slightly. There we go. Now that's there. Now the last bit a little difficult now as you most of you who got uh, any of the siege megatrons know that his head bends down for transformation so what you want to do is push his head down and this is really the best optimus for this this is one of the toys r us exclusives in japan good luck finding him it's like 35 dollars on ebay um <laughs> he's a pain in the butt to find but essentially he's got a nice clip 
plug-in joint right there, and I'm gonna plug it into the top of his head to give him the truck head that we saw in the finale. And I gotta do this very gently because of course, the entire thing is made of transplastic, exception of a few joints. So you don't wanna mess anything up. The last piece I have to put on is really just for, for uh, looks. Here we have something to resemble the Enigma combination. And you just click that right in the back of the truck. Click it right in. Should be a nice little storage spot in the back. And that's it. That is how you build the combiner from the unaired Japanese episodes. And it is something, let me tell you. Uh, Poseability is still pretty good. Uh, you can still pick them up, move them around. It's got a little bit of ankle tiltage. The head doesn't really move much. The head's pretty much stuck in a positions, mainly due to these shoulder guns. You can't really move much there. Um, unfortunately, Siege's loose joints leave some pegs looser than others. It's, it's, that's really annoying part of Siege figures, is that some joints are stiff and some joints are wobbly. That's why it's good with the back here, that you have both cassettes holding each other in. Because for example, I was having issues with laser beak and Ravage would just fall off. Like he doesn't have a lot of anything keeping him up. So that's why the laser beak helps just keep him in place. Because when you have two of them, they're pretty likely to stay. Obviously, the feet here, now I know in the show they were flipped up, but honestly, considering the weight, I would suggest you flip them down just so you can keep the figure standing. Because, <laughs> I mean, this is like a, at least a $100 figure at this point of all the parts you had to buy, assuming you could get some of these on sale. I'm trying to think if there's anything I forgot. Ah, yes. This... This uh, spaceship you're going to find in Titan Returns Cosmos, it's the gun. I think everything else I told you all where I got it, but I left out where I got this one. Other than that, uh, thank you for joining us today. I hope you have luck finishing this combiner model. Uh, is there anything else I should let you guys know? Oh, yes. If you can't find this, there is an easier variant. That's um, the original model, which is not translucent plastic. It's... Just a basic Optimus Prime, colored in his basic coloration scheme. It won't look exactly like the animation, but it's also not $35. So, you know, uh, choose your battles. <laughs> I found Siege, the Siege uh, Megatron here. It was pretty cheap on eBay at the time of this video, like 20 bucks. So I would highly recommend it. It is an excellent figure really holds up in combiner mode because he doesn't fall over. It can hold the weight of everything. Same thing with the sword. Even if you just have normal Megatron, I would recommend the sword combination. It does a really good job of giving it hilt. Other than that, um, yeah, I think we covered the animation error here with that and uh, just about everything, really. I suppose if you want a little bit more security, you can flip Slash's arms down just a little bit more, just in case if you're worried about her coming loose, because that connection point is kind of loose. And yeah, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. If you can't comment, please join our Discord. It's a pretty friendly, um, yeah, it's a pretty friendly little environment and you are welcome to join us there. Adios.